welcome back to my channel today we're going to be baking a jamaican rum cake first first we're going to cream um cream the sugar and butter together up for about 10 minutes so let's get started here we go mix it for 10 minutes then we're gonna add in the eggs one by one you don't have to eat. Are you, are you? Next, I'm gonna add the eggs. I had um, eight eggs and I'm gonna add one by one um, until it's all finished. So let's get to it. <laughs> I'm going to be adding the fruit which I was soaking um, in red label wine for a few weeks. To make sure everything is out. Now I'm going to Now I'm going to mix it out for another 10 minutes Two tab two um, tablespoon of vanilla in here. Okay. Next, I'm gonna be adding the flour. So in the dry in the dry um, flour, I had nutmeg and cinnamon. I had one tablespoon of nutmeg and one tablespoon of cinnamon and now we're gonna have the flour to the mixture before i put the mixture and um, the flour in i'm gonna sieve it so that it comes out nice and smooth sieving's all done now i'm gonna be adding the flour in little by little so i'm gonna add in the Thank <laughs> you. 
going to be adding browning. Um, I'm going to be adding two tablespoons, but you can add more. Okay, now I had, I add in two tablespoons. Now, now I'm just going to mix it in. Okay, when you mix it, you have to remember to mix it clockwise and cut in the middle because if you, you mix it in a different direction, it will have hair pockets and the cake will come out all cracked up. Okay guys, the mixing is complete and this is how it turns out. And if, if the spoon is standing just like this, then it's thick enough. If it's not, if it's leaning to the up to one side, then it's not thick enough. So you need to add more flour to it. Okay, now I'm gonna grease and flour the baking tin. Now I grease the baking tin. Now I'm gonna have a, a little tip of flour, and we're going to move it around just like this. So make sure every corner in the pan is all floured. Mm -hmm. We do this because when the cake is finished baking, it's not stick to the baking tin. So it will be easier to come out when, yeah. Okay guys, after that's finished, and knock out the rest of it. I'm going to be adding the mixture to the baking tin. Put the mixture in the baking tin. It should be just above half. I, <laughs> I preheat the oven to 150 degrees and now I'm going to put it in to bake and now I get to eat it yay okay mm -hmm. hi guys I finished baking my cake the, the it look it look really lovely and it come out perfect the color and the tasting is really nice looking really good and um, I'm gonna have my son do a little taste test to see if he like it give this give the video a thumbs up if you if you think he's gonna like what do you think it's good it's good <laughs> i'll give it i'll give it on a scale to one to ten ten is the highest how do you rate it 8.5 <laughs> Sweetness. The bottom is the eight, the top, the sweetness. This is high. Seven is low. You yeah. got it, guys. I guess, um, yeah, so he gave it an eight point, what? Five. Eight, eight point five. So I think that's good. I was hoping a ten, but you know, <laughs> child. <laughs> Oh, Things aren't anyways, easy to get um, Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe to my video, and also hit that notification bell so you be notified every time I put I post a new video. And, and follow also, us on TikTok. <laughs> and also, you can follow me on Instagram as well. I'm gonna link my Instagram and TikTok in the link in the description. And also, and also, I'm gonna. Also, I'm gonna write the in the ingredients in the description of how to make it for yourself. Bye. See you next time. Peace out. Goodbye. Bye.